All right, Hive Optimization and Bee Swarm Simulator. Late, early game, early, mid game, call it whatever you will. Uh, we're going to be talking about a few changes uh, towards your Hive and a few things that you can do to optimize it. Um, obviously, when you're really below 35 bees or in general, I would suggest uh, to you that well, you should maybe think about just like throwing bees into your hive. Just have, you know, uh, just have bees in it. Just make sure that they are all mixed up. Don't have legendaries in there. Uh, I mean, don't have too many legendaries in there. Like, don't think that having a full hive of legendaries is going to give you a better hive because that's what I did in the beginning and that's definitely not going to help you. Now, for the people wondering I, uh, that, I, if, that I don't have any clue what I'm talking about, check out my old videos. I, I was really in the end game. Uh, I just have to keep mentioning that so you know that I'm a pretty trusted source and I'm trying around a lot uh, because a lot of things have changed too in the game so I have to keep that in my mind as well. Okay, let's start uh, talking about my optimization, what I've done. So I got 38 bees. Um, I do have a brave bee in there that will be replaced uh, but right now I have it for the gifted hive bonuses. By the way, the gifted hive bonuses, they don't stack. You have them just once so you don't have to necessarily gift all of them like on on a crazy note, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can just like keep one gifted and just have the other bees in there as well. So you don't necessarily have to get like five gifted. If you get them and if you have enough money for it, okay, sure, do it. But um, it, it's not necessary. Okay, um, what do we have? Uh, four cool bees. That is definitely something you don't need. Um, I've been optimizing quite a bit. You can keep one to two cool bees. Um, I'm gonna get rid of those in my next uh, sessions of uh, gameplay. Uh, Hasty Bee, uh, also gifted, very important. It's gonna give you 20% movement speed. Gonna stick to that as well. And now, the big change. I actually kept my one gifted Looker Bee, which is gonna give me 25% critical power, but I got rid of all of the other three. I had four Looker Bees in there. And um, yeah, I've changed those. Uh, these are big changes, so take them out uh, and yeah, whatever. Let's go to the next one. Red B, um, very good for the red boost as well. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about that. I actually have it gifted, so it's going to give me 15% uh, red pollen. I also cleared out all of my bomb tokens. Um, as you can see, I had a few bomb tokens in there as well, but I cleared them all out. Um, you can get one stubborn bee in there as well. It's going to give you pollen mark, uh, which will, uh, you know, marks a random area on a field for seven seconds, blah, blah, blah. Increases all of the pollen by 50%. Uh, that's what carpenter bees do as well. So I think in the early to mid game, I think carpenter bees are very, very important to have. And um, okay, let's continue. So I did have a bubble bee, took it out, uh, exchanged it for three bucko bees. They're good for the blue boost. We need them blue boosts, everybody. So yeah, um, yeah, make sure to get three bucko bees. If you have four, I mean, you could reduce or just keep it. Bucko bees are always good to have. Um, I get, kept one commander bee in here as well for the um, buzz bomb. Uh, no, not for the buzz bomb, for the focus token, sorry. <laughs> uh, the buzz bomb is actually the negative part off of it. But that's fine. Um, you know, you can read through the stats here. Very good as well. Um, no demo, no exhausted, no fire, no frosty. They are all connected to bomb. You have blue bomb here. You have red bomb here. Uh, you have uh, buzz bomb here. Uh, the demo bee has another one buzz bomb. They even give you buzz bomb pollen. You know, uh, white field capacity is good though. If you have it exhausted, if you have an exhausted bee gifted, I would keep it definitely for the white field capacity because, you know, white field quests are just so annoying. Um, and yeah, then I have a gifted honey bee. Very good. 1.5 uh, honey from tokens. Very nice. Honey gift, honey mark. Very good. Good stuff. Rage bee, I actually took out. I had it in there as well for the damage. I actually had it gifted. But I took it out, so uh, yeah, just get, just yeet that into the nether realms. Um, then we have Riley B, uh, red boost again. Same goes for Riley and Bucko. They're really important for the boost. They are basically like your boost generator um, for the game for Beast Swarm Simulator. So uh, just keep three Riley Bs, uh, three Bucko Bs. That should be good. Uh, you can do four four if you have a few more uh, slots and stuff. So you can do that. But other than that, these are pretty good. Uh, next thing, Shocked Bee is not in there. You can, if you have it gifted again, not a bad bee. Actually a pretty good bee. I might actually think about, um, you know, getting a Shocked Bee in there as well in my hive because 
you know, haste tokens, always good to have. Um, if I get it gifted, white percent, 25% uh, white pollen, very, very nice. So, um, yeah, shark bee is not actually too bad uh, to have. I have a lot of, um, wait, where is it? I have a lot of cool bees, right? Which is this one. Let's do that actually right now. Finally, everybody, there is the shark bee. I uh, got 200 royal jellies down, man. That's sadly, like I said, not gifted. So it's just going to give me haste tokens and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's continue the grind in here. Stubborn, where was the shark? I, I forgot. There is the shark. So yeah. Um, baby bee and carpenter carpenter bees are you gonna be like your vector bees you need those so I kept in there from the beginning I kept six of them uh, baby bee and music bee I equaled out to four I uh, got one diamond in there as well because it does give you blue boost it does give you a passive and a honey gift blah 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 this and that um, and there you can see uh, I also got a shy bee in there shy bee are really good because they give you I know they give you red bomb but they also give you red boost and they also have a, a passive and they have a lot of energy and they do a lot of attack and everything so that's very really nice same goes for the ninja it does give you blue boost but it does also give you haste tokens i kind of needed that for the uh, b movement speed but in general just keep one uh, if you have one, uh, you can just ditch it out and replace it with something else. And then, obviously, I have uh, my event bees. Sadly, not too many yet. The next one that I'm going to get is the festive uh, and the vicious and the gummy. These are the ones that are very important for me uh, to, you know, collect for, you know, just so I can arrive into the mid game. And that's basically it. Um, these are the changes that I've made to my... Uh, hive currently tell me what you think of that um, try to compare it with your hive your mixed hive if you are at like 35 bees or so so and um, yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video when we are going to discuss some more farming uh, routines and techniques goodbye